You ever have so many birds that just drives you absolutely insane in your backyard? Like, hey, shut up. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, good. Oh. Oh my gosh! It's a whale! Oh yeah, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. What's going on everybody? Good morning. It's morning here. If you're watching this in the afternoon, good afternoon, good evening. Anyways, I'm Alex. I am Oklahoma's Worst Angler. I imagine there's probably some new people on here considering the title. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go through my brand new new canoe pursuit. So, brand new, new to me, 2020 model. We're going to walk through it. I'm going to show you how I have mine set up so I can finally start putting out all my fishing videos since I've been on this. So, let's get after it. Let's walk through the boat, let's show it off, and let's get on with the video. So first off, I got to give a big shout out to Tulsa Kayak. So I live in the Tulsa area and Tulsa Kayak has been the place that I've gone to for all my kayaks. I got my first kayak from them. I had a loaner from them as well. I got to use the Jackson Liska and that's what really turned me on to getting a bigger boat and getting one that I am able to stand up in and fish. I mean, it was a game changer. So. I did a lot of research, I talked with the guys there, and they really hooked it up, and they really took care of me. So, if you're in the Oklahoma City area or the Tulsa area, check out OKC Kayak, check out Tulsa Kayak. They will have everything that you need, top-notch customer service, extremely knowledgeable dudes. So, thank you to Tulsa Kayak. Let's walk through the boat, okay? The new Canoe Pursuit is a 13 and a half foot boat, okay? extremely stable you've got a 37 inch wide deck okay 37 inch from handle to handle storage in the back that runs throughout the boat and then up front you've got more storage now this is kind of nice because it comes with a cooler well, not insulated, but a bucket right here. Dry bucket, rubber gasket on the seal right here. Keep it watertight. And then you can remove the bucket and store throughout the boat. Now me, obviously I keep my battery bank in there. And I keep my GoPro for the top angle, side angle, anything like that. Moving that around that panfish mount from Yak Attack. You've got Freedom Track systems on the front, throughout the entire deck of the boat, and then back here on the rear. There are two flush mount rod holders with caps, so you can keep the water out of them. I personally don't use them. I'm getting a little more pointed with my uh, fishing approaches. I take four rods, sometimes I'll take a fifth and keep it on the front deck right there. You also have internal rod tubes so you got four rod tubes i actually keep my power pole in that rod tube right there so i've got the eight foot power pole that i keep in the rod tube right here 
Now, a lot of the time what I'm gonna do with my power pole here is I'm going to put it into the front scupper right there. Or, depending on the current, depending on where I'm at, I will put it in the rear scupper. But I also have the cleat right here that I can tie off to. So if I wanna have a little more freedom of movement, I can tie that cleat off, tie the rope to the cleat, I mean, and then have plenty of room to kind of drift around. Personally, I don't like that. I like to stay stationary. Now, a couple of add-ons that I added to it are the foot pegs right here, the foot pedals. These are add-ons. They go right into the Freedom Track right there. You can screw them in with the low profile or you can use the bigger knobs right there. I like the low profile, keeps them out of my way, allows me to keep my feet nice and flat. Now, one thing you'll notice about my boat, it is dirty. It's very dirty. And it's very dirty because I use it and I wasn't gonna clean it off. And the reason I wasn't gonna clean it off is because my hose is broken right now. I'm having to fix my hose. So otherwise I probably would have cleaned it up to make it look nicer. But anyways, let's get back to the boat. So on the new 2020 models on the Pursuit, you've got the Fusion 3, not the 360, but the Fusion seat. So it is all one material, all the way down, no gaps, and it is the most supportive seat I've ever sat in, the most comfortable seat I've ever sat in for my kayak as well. Straps right here are adjustable. However, they do not get in my way. That is one thing I noticed with the Liska is the straps on the seat would kind of get in my way when I was fishing, sitting down, sitting kind of tight. Straps on the new Canoe Pursuit seat do not get in my way whatsoever so i'm a big fan of that in the back here i've got the wilderness systems crate four rod holders and that's what i use right there it does come with scuppers for your scupper hole or scupper plugs for the scupper holes four scuppers throughout the boat Right here are paddle leashes or paddle holders. So you can slide your paddle in right there when you're not using it. The boat is extremely stable. Even with me being on a slope right here, I'm able to stand in it. I can stand and fish in this all day with no issue whatsoever. You've got a hard molded handle at the front and then at the rear, you've got another drag handle right here. Drain plug. And then underneath the boat, which I can't show you right now, but 2020 models, they added a skid plate at the rear. Now the seat is quick release. I don't have these tightened down, so I can just show you really quick. All you do is unscrew these knobs right here. And the seat lifts right out. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, but seat lifts right out, folds down, easy for transport, and then you've got a completely wide open deck. So you could even put a cooler here and sit on your cooler and roll with just a cooler. So guys, a quick walkthrough of my new Canoe Pursuit. I love the boat. I think I've covered that. You're gonna see in the videos coming up. I've been doing a lot of fishing out of it. It is actually very easy to load by myself. I have a Ford Explorer and I am able to load it solo and unload it solo each way. I mean, it's it's not an issue. The boat itself for being 13 and a half foot is fairly lightweight. It's around 86 pounds, I believe, dry weight. So 86 pound boat. very agile very quick easy to get in easy to stand up and fish the boat itself is extremely sweet i love it love everything about it i think i've covered that so guys if you got any more questions for me any tips any critiques on what to do with this boat i do have a plan to add a rear trolling motor to it so if you got any ideas for me let me know in the comments down below i hope you liked the video and uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you next time we're on the water.